everybody, we are back here at Team Wit Customs. Scurvy Wit saying hi. Uh, we're gonna get back on this driver's side fender. Um, we started doing the rust repair yesterday, we showed you that. Uh, this is where it's at now. Um, we have our piece tacked in. Um, we take that in, I'll finish taking this up. Uh, this bar is just in place um, to keep this line straight because you want to make sure whenever you're welding when you cut pieces out this section is welded to the inner structure you can see right here is the brace where the fender bolts up and so uh, once we remove that piece of the skin on the pant leg here um, the fender can move the skin can move and if you just put that piece in weld it up and then clamp it to the inner structure and weld that to the inner structure of that support, uh, the fender's gonna be out of shape. The bottom of it doesn't wanna just naturally lay straight when the support's not there, so just put this bar clamped here uh, so we can keep the bottom of the fender straight. And now I'll finish up welding the rest. We'll uh, dress these welds, finish them out real clean, and it'll be ready for body work. Stay tuned. See you guys, have a good day. Got one down. Thing looks good. Yeah, this one's gonna go a lot quicker. <laughs> we know what we're doing. <laughs> Always does, right? Yeah. I don't have to do all that reading again. <laughs> well, when it's our best customer, it makes it easier too, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so happy. I'm getting the running boards replaced on my truck. <laughs> They've been sitting here in a box. <clears throat> Tired of dealing with the busted up factory one having to worry about where I step down. Toby and Joseph are getting it handled for me today. Uh, I'll show you now where we're at with this uh, rust repair panel. We've got it tigged in. Um, now we just have to do a little dressing, clean up the welds, and uh, it'll be ready to go to the body shop side. Okay, now you can see we have most of the, uh, the welds are dressed. Uh, they've been cleaned up. The nice thing when you tig, a lot of this was uh, just fused together, um, but the weld from the tig welder is a lot softer. Um, it doesn't take as much to sand down. Um, I typically like to use a belt sander like this one. These things are awesome. Wish I would have had one 30 years ago. Um, but they cut fast and clean, not throwing sparks all over. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out, when you make these panels, um, what I like to do a lot of times is like right here, I left that a little long. And what that does is it helps you weld to the edge and then um, makes it real easy to just trim it out so it matches just the way it should. Just like over here, um, this edge or this lip is uh, left a little long. You can see here, so I can weld all the way through the edge. And then I'll run a tape line and trim that back so that everything uh, matches just how it should um, So I have very little left to do on this just a little trim in there and uh, It'll be ready to go over to the body shop side. All right, you can see We have trimmed off Our edges so All that's nice and straight and even cleaned up around here, which is a Goofy shape, but that's how it was to return it to that We've trimmed the edges over here, so that's flowing together. And one thing I'll point out too, that can save a lot of time as long as you remember to come back to it. Uh, 
there's a piece here that requires a third hole. If you've been watching earlier in the videos, that hole's there. I intentionally um, did not put that hole back in yet at this point because when we do the body work on this area, it's gonna be a lot easier to work rather than having filler fall in that hole, which is right above the uh, inner brace. So it's a little, little uh, trick that'll help you save some time and hassle. Once this body work's done, then we'll drill the hole afterwards before this goes to primer. So now we can take it to the body shop side of Team Wit and get it straightened out and before long, we'll be painting the 65 Cadillac. Thanks for tuning in.